Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. Look we at this lighting. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Get ready. We're at the P.O. Box. We're going to check the P.O. Box and then you're going to see the weirdest dinner. <laughs> Sarah described it and I haven't seen it yet, but I'm like, this is... I described it as slop. Yeah. So like, we're probably going to go to Whole Foods on the way to Universal because we're going to try to catch... It might be filling slop. Yes. But, but we do kind of have to go. Yes. it's 5.06. Right. And we're going to have another instance like yesterday where we're going to be like... Photo finishing a show, but it's the last chance we can see Grinch Miss this year. Yeah, because our pass seen expires. That. Our pass expires tomorrow and we're too busy anyway between now <laughs> we, and yeah. the holidays. Yeah, okay. Oh, Sarah, your package. Thank you so much. These are being eaten awesome. today. So we, this will be our dinner. And, um, the Whole Foods doesn't else? work out. Doesn't well, these are desserts regardless. At least one of these boxes. Thank you. Okay. And we got other Christmas cards too. I wonder if our situation is sweet. Here is dinner. It's the concoction from the bean burgers with like a mushroom thing on top. It just looks sloppy because they're not in burger form. <laughs> they are good. They're just. And weird. there's our there's our salad with sauerkraut. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Okay, this is the greatest image in my life. <laughs> yes. I will not be surprised if this whole thing gets eaten right now. They broke our project into the big Big Brother, that TV show. I don't know if you ever watched it, but they only ate PB&Js on there. Let's say one challenges. So because we need groceries, but we're only gonna be here for a little bit, we're getting literally peanut butter and jelly materials. And like chips. Yeah, Just like to hold us over stuff. until Friday. I know we could like go in right now and like grocery shop for those three days, but like, plus like, the, we don't need to like take time to cook because we literally have like no time. Alright, we are walking in the Seuss Landing. And for, for reference, Grinchman, they suggest you get there 15 minutes prior, so... So not as much of a photo finish. Not as much of a photo finish as yesterday. But... so dark. Whoa, look at all these festival lights right here for the holiday time. Grinchmas. Last show. Look at that nice sign up there. So Grinchmas is actually like in a little temporary tent thing in the background. Well, I think it might be permanent. You feel like you're at Halloween Hornets. I do because Halloween Hornets is a lot of backstage walking around and everything. So yes, I do. I wish it was Halloween Horror Nights time. I always wish it was Halloween Horror Nights right, time. Then like Christmas is about to start and there's like that anticipation plus like the greatness that is. Fall, fall to Christmas is the best time ever. Totally wrong. These are permanent structures. It's a sound stage. Like just like how they use for Halloween Horror Nights that we're going into. But it's still like that. The vibe. Theater feel. Yeah. Who? 
he hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. these decorations and the like cool music yes it was a really good show per usual if you ever get a chance check out Grinchmas so sweet. but we have to it go so Sunday on this day. Oh. we have to go to celebration to meet some friends yes. but since we're here and we won't get a chance to come back before the holidays are over we're gonna run over to Hogsmeade, Hogsmeade to see that all decorated Beautiful. Wow. And there is a Christmas show on Hogwarts. It just ended, but I can see. I think we saw the Christmas show last Yeah. Year. I remember seeing the snow, like it's falling on Hogwarts right now. Yeah. I remember that. Well, I'm sure it has to do with my outfit, considering I'm in <laughs> my button up and jeans and like dress shoes, because we came straight from my office. But a woman just asked me if I work here. But she kind of. Oh my gosh, this is the song he sings. The Christmas of love, you know? Oh, yeah. a lovely family at home. <laughs> Sorry, you still watch this tonight when we go home. Yeah. Look at that Mickey Mouse power line. We're back in our old stomping grounds. Yeah. It's crazy how. Yeah, uh, how we lived in this area. Yeah, the car accident over here. Oh gosh. All right. I just told her, I was like, well, I want to move back. To, like, I want to move to Celebration. <laughs> just because, like, we love Winter Park so much, but we are near Winter Park. We're not in Winter Park. So, like, we don't even have, like, the same homey stuff. Like, it's a couple of blocks away, but it's just, Right. Like, it's not right outside our door. Like right I want it right outside our door. So, maybe we just move closer into the neighborhoods of Winter Park. <laughs> Granted, we just signed our lease three months ago, <laughs> but... Oh, Katie's calling me. That's who we're oh. meeting up with. So we are meeting up with Katie, Eddie, and Travis. They're, they just, they took forever to get a parking spot, they said, so they're grabbing Upper Crust right now. And we're gonna enjoy some of Main Street. Ooh, I see the train. Is this the where we lived before, but it's like so much closer that we like, were able to visit more? And I worked, like, so when I worked for Disney, the offices were just around the corner on Celebration Boulevard. So like, we passed by my old office just now. Look at all of this. Oh, this makes me sad till when our UK friends were here and we had that really sad goodbye. But that was a good night, but I, I just saw it yet that I didn't tell you. I think we should go ice skating in Chicago. Okay. That'd be a fun night. Yeah. It's snowing. Woo! Yeah, Main Street. Wow. How picturesque. Okay, this shop is literally awesome. So much, and there's so many different styles. Look at all the Christmas Santa stuff in the shop on Main Street. And look at this upside down Christmas tree. And look at Eddie. He's back. And I want this sweater. I'm gonna take it off of him before the end of the day and keep it for myself. And who can deny the undeniable Katie Vining? Oh. This is a dynamic duo. She just left the cold and we're going to the cold. Yep, I just got back from being at. Me too. <laughs> and you too. But it's like supposed to be really cold in Chicago. It's supposed like to be snowy. cold this upcoming week. Here? Yes. Oh, I love that. Eddie it was, was like hot the high, today. Eddie was like the high is 70. The highest it'll be is 70. It is. <laughs> so it'll always lower than that. 70. I feel like I said this all the time every year. I'm like, the cold in Florida is different than it the It bites you. Anymore. Yes. It is different. I think that it has something to do with like the humidity the or like the moisture in the air. Exactly. It gets in your bones. Because 55 degrees here feels like 30 degrees at home. Agree. And we're all northerners, yes. so we, get, we grew up with this. Here we are. It's, it's like a screen. Because you can see behind. Yeah. Mickey Mouse's 
city? Use, I, I'm gonna be honest, it looks like they have less going on this year. Um, look at the little celebration town. Oh yeah, Kenton Hooks on the coal. They have a celebration. Look at the main street with the tree and the ice skating. Just like downtown celebration. That's cute. Woo. And there is a smoke machine up there. There you go. That, that's Cedar Bend right there. So cool. Oh, they're pulling at our heartstrings now. We are home. We're watching a movie, but I wanted to show you something first. My last little piece of birthday flair came in the mail today. These are the Happy Festivus, You Filthy Animal Special Christmas Edition of Gooder Glasses. I love them. I love them. I found Sarah. Hi. So we wanted to just like kind of talk about like where our heads have been because we continue, you've got a front row seat, you literally just like laid down, so cute in front of us. Um, we do this every day, but it's only a small portion of our day. And so we don't necessarily always show when we're really struggling. And this point in our time in vlogging, we've been really, really struggling. Um, probably the most broken we've ever felt. And specifically, um, I brought up to Sarah over the weekend because I'm having a particularly very hard time right now. Yes. To a point where, like, there's moments of concern for me just because, of, like, how, like, bad it gets, mm -hmm. like, how dark mentally, it gets yeah. mentally. And we've talked about different things over the past couple of days, like taking a break from the vlog or seeking like, medical attention, like a therapist. Yeah. Um, or you know just taking days off of the vlog and you guys are always so understanding and say like we'll always be here um, but we also want you all to understand that this is very therapeutic for us it's a small portion of normalcy like the vlog has remained consistent um, throughout well, all of the cast it's the Brookhart project it's, it's what is going on in our lives mm -hmm. the good and the bad and yeah. right now it's a little bit of the bad yeah and we never want to feel like we're being fake and we never um i don't know like we kind of like press on in different ways and um we really like when we go out it is to seek joy it's to seek um that during this hard time and yeah. some days are easier than others to put a smile on and um and we just want to be forthcoming with it because mm -hmm. we may go seek like Professional. professional assistance yeah. or you're gonna see us do home days like we already have been and a yeah. couple of like our closest friends have like we've done like spot checks with them and they they can tell sometimes on some days a vlog like they can see it in our faces or our voices that some days are harder than others um but it's just been a particularly hard difficult time. time um and we've been able to bring a lot of christmas cheer in to help our hearts mm -hmm. um but it's also very particularly um sad time at the as well so it's like interesting how those two can coexist yeah. and we're just doing our best <laughs> we're doing our best and we're gonna yeah. keep doing what's right for us and doing what we think is brings us the most happiness and also brings us like just the peace of mind to try to get through this because this journey there's pieces of us that will be bro be broken forever right even after we have our yeah. kids and we've been through hard times before this isn't the first mountain we've tackled as a couple or as individuals um and so that's why like the concern is there is because we have never felt i've always been able to this, yeah to like know deep down that like there's light in the tunnel and i do have that now but i've never felt this like consumed by it yes where you can't um, like there'd be moments of, of, of really darkness, there'd be moments of happiness, but I feel like for the past, kind of like before Thanksgiving into the Thanksgiving time on, it's just been like all consuming. Like we kind of talked about it during the 50K race and what you didn't see on that part was uh, like when I met Sarah at mile like 23, 23. I like broke down and then 
I didn't see Sarah get to the finish line, and there was about five miles where I was just basically running and crying mm -hmm. the whole time. Yeah. And so... It's like uh, a lot of realization of yeah. how heavy what we're going through is. Mm -hmm. um, and again, like nothing has been fake that we've put out. No. Nothing that... Um, well, anybody who has like right. fought these kind of, whether it's grief or depression or just like that instability knows that the, all these moments are very fleeting at the same time. Mm -hmm. Like when I was at Hollywood Studios, when Sarah and I were at Hollywood Studios with Steve riding Rise of Resistance, that was happiness. Yeah. And it exists and it's real and it's, you know, and just like that, we need that. But like, it's just like Peter said, like in a moment it changes yeah. and um, we just want you guys to know where we are. Yeah. And um, we love you guys. Yeah. And we also know that like sometimes uh, we're not going to be able to, like, you're going to see that. It's going to make it into the vlog. Mm -hmm. Or we're just not going to put up a vlog at all. Right. Um, but like we said, we are doing the vlog. Yeah. We had a, we a long discussion to today that, like, yeah. this is important to us because this is part of us. Mm -hmm. And these emotions are part of us just as much as this vlog is a part of us. Um, we don't, it's we don't, it's not, yeah, it's not yeah. taxing on us. Like, no. We've built it into our life so that, like, it is a piece of us. Right. If anything, it would almost be, like, another void. Right. Like, I, like, that's what I, that's what I told Sarah. I knew when I was thinking about it in the middle of the night the other day when I was thinking, I was like, should we take a break from the vlog? And I was like, that would be counterproductive to our emotions. Right. I would be thinking constantly, like, what's going to happen when we come back? Like, yeah. what but are we going to do in this time yeah, period? Yeah, like, but then I was like, no, but we, this is, you guys are, a, this is a piece of our life. Mm -hmm. And it's important that we share this piece of it as much as we fully can, just like we share our infertility journey as much as we can. Yeah. So. We'll keep you posted on what else we do or um, anything else that, that comes up. But we're going to do our day's message. Watch, yeah, and then we're going to watch Greatest Greatest show showman. And snuggle our pup. Today is December 16th. Jeffrey R. Holland says, expecting a trouble-free life because you are a good person is a, expecting the bowl not to charge you because you are a vegetarian. Well, that's very, that's a good message. Very fitting to us for multiple reasons. Sarah Irvine sent us a package, right? Yes. There are three cookies left out of that first box of maple cookies. So thank you, thank mm -hmm. you, thank you. And thank you to Gooder. For my son, I mean, we bought them. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for making, Thanks for making awesome. That makes Peter yeah. buy them time and time again. Yeah. It's, it's good to be home. home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.